this is Kyle Hushin here, and today I'm going to be showing an early version of Tether Balance which focuses on the chase system that I've been trying to implement into my game for a few months now, and I finally got something that I'm happy with. So, let's hop into it. So here we have the new version of the, the tutorial, which I think I had a video of before on the improved graphics test video, I think. Um, but here is just like a sort of visual redoing of it because I set up a tile map which allows me to easily create maps because I'm able to place each like tile down to this here, those um, grey things and the walls here, they're part of the tile map. So I made this map using the same thing, the tile map, and so this is where the monster will actually, will actually come out. This is a whole new map on a whole new system. Uh, I don't reckon I'm going to be able to do it on the first round, but we'll, we'll see. And so it's spawned in, that's what that music's about. I need to turn that down a bit, but you get the idea. Um, let's see ahead. Important to try and figure out where it's spawned. Because it can only spawn in set positions, because it might be bad if it can spawn in. Okay, so it sounds like it's uh, the chase has ended. See, the chase is on a random timer. So once the uh, that music stops, it means the the monster is no longer on the map and chasing. Ah, see, I ran out of oxygen, which oxygen is a important resource that you need to manage in this game, as well as avoiding the monster because if you run out of oxygen then you die. I still need to work on a proper death screen, um, but for now it just takes you back to the menu whenever you die. So, let's try that again. So, quickly go through this. So, we'll go through here. And I think we'll go down the same way again. We'll head down here, because there's a quick uh, locker down here, which that the locker picture and the one for the green box that we used to get here is a placeholder. I plan on making actual like pictures for the like they're quite uh, take some time to make something that actually really fits with what I'm going for. So it's use those locker tiles. And um, I've been tweaking the speed of the monster. I'm hoping I haven't set it too high now, <laughs> so you, you, it's impossible to outrun. I want it to be hard to outrun, but I don't want it to be impossible. Okay, so it's still in the sky. It's still looking for me. Okay, so we've avoided it again. Um, so this is only one system of two, well three actually, that I plan on implementing. So this is the chase system. And I plan on adding a searching system and a stalking system. Um, so there we go. Oh, that was a very close. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I need to add more tethers here. Yeah, I, it looks like I made that a bit too quick. Um, right, we'll give it another go. We should be able to do it. Obviously, this is still early days, so I'm still testing, tweaking things to get them just right. But I, I hope you can watch this video and sort of get the general idea of what I'm going for. So we're going to try and we're just going to try and rush straight up to where the exit is rather than looping around because as you saw then it jumped straight down in front of me and I was not able oh oh dear seems I've forgotten to set something there okay That's fine, we should be able to make it here without that. Close that down. Oh dear. I have to do some pro skills here. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So I've made this impossible to complete so. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, that's where you go to do it. I haven't properly refined this yet, and I'm still in the process of doing so, but there we go, there we have it. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that. 
short video, but I hope it gave a good enough idea of what the game is like. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.